Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 14 homework. So let's get started. Use the RDW process to solve the following problems. We draw right. So number one, Linda makes booklets using two sheets of paper. She has 17 sheets of paper. How many of these booklets or oh my God, booklets, booklets can she make? Will she have any extra paper? How many sheets? So, booklets using two sheets, and she has 17 sheets. So, we can keep on drawing until we reach 17 and make groups of two. So, 17 sheets. So, yeah, one. We're using dots to represent. One, two. So, two sheets of paper. That's one booklet right there. Now we go three, four. That's one booklet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight booklets. with one leftover paper so let's also do um long division to show our work so 17 that's basically divided by two what we just did so two we write zero because it doesn't go to one but now we look at 17. two the most is eight because we got eight booklets and two times eight is 16. 17 minus 16 is one so our answer would be eight with the remainder of one, because we have one dot left over here, which means she has one extra paper. So we write, Linda can make eight booklets with one extra piece of paper. All right, number two, Linda uses thread to sew the booklets together. She cuts six inches of thread for each booklet. How many booklets can she stitch with 50 inches of thread? All right, so 50 inches and we need six inches for each booklet. So how many can she sew? So six dots each, that's like a total of 50 dots. That's a little bit much. So we can just write numbers and skip count by six. So I have a group of six. So picture as, as dots, kind of. And now we have 12. And each of these circles means one booklet because we need six for each booklet. And then plus six, that's 18, 24, 24, 24. Now it's 30. And remember, she has 50 inches, 36, 42, 48, and 48 plus 6 more is 54. So that's too much, so we stop, stop right here, and we only need 2 more to get to 50, so that's 2 right there. That means she has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so she has enough for 8 booklets. And she'll have two inches of leftover thread. We can do show our long division. 50 divided by 6. 6 goes 0 times into 5. So now we look at 50. 6 goes 8 times into 50. Minus 48. We get two leftover. 8 remainder 2. So she has enough for 8 buckets with 2 inches of thread left. Linda has enough for a booklet with two inches of thread left. So yeah. Alright, number three, Miss Rochelle wants to 
Rochelle, Rochelle, I think, wants to put her 29 students into groups of six. How many groups of six can she make? She puts any remaining students in a smaller group. How many students will be in that group? So basically 29 divided by six, what's our remainder? So let's draw our circles again. We have six, that's one group, another group. Now we have 12, that's two groups, 18, 24. And I know the next one would be 30 because six times five is 30. So that's too much because there's 29 students. So we can do five because 29 plus five is 29. So we need five more to get to 29 and that'll be it. So that over there is one, two, three, four groups. Four complete groups with a small group of five. We can show our long dig division, 29 divided by six. Six goes zero times into 20, or two. And 29, six goes four times. That's minus 24, and that'll give us five left over. Four groups with the remaining of five people. Remainder of five people. So she can make four groups with a small group of five. So yeah. All right, number four. A trainer gives his horse Caballo, Caballo, seven gallons of water every day from a 57 gallon container. How many days will Cabal give his full portion of water, receive his full portion of water from the container? On which number of day will the trainer need to fill the container of water? How many days? So 57 divided by seven, we have one group that's seven, two groups is 14. So each circle we make is a day that Cabal receives full portion of water because a full portion is seven gallons. 14, now 21, that's 28 now. Remember it's 57, so now 35, 42, 49, and 49 plus seven is 56. And then now we have 56. 56, we don't have enough to, for one more um, seven gallons, so then plus one would just be 57. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight days, the horse will receive full portion of water. And one day, he'll only get one. So we can show our work 57 divided by seven. Eight minus 56 equals one. So we're into one. Okay, so the Trainer, oh no, oh, okay, so Kabala will get full portion um, for eight days. And the trainer, um, let's see. The trainer needs to refill on day nine. Oh, yeah. Number five, Melissa, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Has 43 toy soldiers. She lines them up in rows of five to fight imaginary zombies. How many of these rows can she make? After making as many rows of five as she can, she puts the remaining soldiers in the last row. How many soldiers are in that row? So four, three into rows of five. Four, three divided by five. Let's just make five circles, or not, like circles of five in them each. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and we know next one is 45, but that'd be 
bigger than 43, which means um, next one, just write three to show that there's three left over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups. And let's show our long division. 43 oh, divided by 5, 5 goes 0 times to 4. 43 goes 8 times, minus 40 is 3. So 8 remainder 3, just like over here, we have 3 remaining. So that means she can make 8 rows with 3 in the last row. All right, and number six, 78 um, students are separated into groups of eight for a field trip. How many groups are there? The remaining students form a smaller group of how many students? So 78 divided by eight, let's just count by eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and then plus 8 is the, it would be 80, so that would be too big. So we end on 72, and 72, we need 6 more to get to 78, which means we'll have 6 remaining. So let's show our long division, 78 divided by 8, 8 goes 0 times into 7, but into 78, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So that's 72. 8 times 9 is 72. So we minus 72, we get 6. So our answer is 9 remainder 6, just like how we drew it here. Means there are 9 groups with a small group of six so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you guys next time bye